Hey, this is Grant from uh, Cool Trains in Montreal. And uh, today I was just going to do a short video here to show some of my Chessie system cabooses and rolling stock on uh, my little N scale um, test layout. So, to begin with, I'm going to show you a small uh, change in the, uh, the buildings that I have set up. This first building here is a kit bash from uh, DPM kits. Um, you've probably seen this if you've seen a couple of my other videos. This is the other side of the uh, building. The building has two sides. One side has an older more, uh, configuration with uh, smaller windows and a few more doors and stuff. This side I use some siding from a model, another, another model manufacturer, uh, or was it maybe uh, just some um, siding, metal siding. Painted it like a uh, green. Just used some um, uh, doors that I had lying around from a couple of other mo um, model engineering kits or something like that, I think it was called. Micro engineering, that's it. So the doors are micro engineering, and that uh, siding piece is also micro engineering from a, a surplus from a couple of kits that I was building. And the windows there that are larger are from another DPM kit. Uh, from the Hilltown Hotel, I believe it is. Anyways, I kind of kitbashed it all together. And um, th on this side, this you could uh, say this is a renovated storefront where you have a small store and then you have little doors to lead up to the tenement uh, apartments above. So it would be representing a building that was renovated. And uh, beside it here, this is the side of the, the uh, Helljan building that I was showing in a couple of other videos. It's the... Um, stereotypical uh, kit with the wedge. It's a wedge building. It's built, I built it exactly as the uh, the box shows it, except I painted it slight, slightly more brownish. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a really nice little kit here actually. And um, I like the wedge shape. The wedge shape is going to fit in really well in my Corona um, video that you'll see another time of my uh, Corona um, central uh, layout, which is coming along nicely. And uh, finally over here, this is a Helgen kit as well. This is uh, a church, an English church. And I really like this uh, model. When it comes, it doesn't come in that color. I had to paint a lot of these items, like the spires on there and the roof and everything. It's a little dusty because it's been kind of sitting around. But uh, anyway, um, one thing that I do want to note is that I used a wash of white on this model so that it would dull down the brown that they have. And I also painted the windows white. Uh, the windows, I think, were dark. In any case, I think it turned out very well. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice little kit, and it, it's going to fit in well with another layout that I'm working on, too. So I think this model is it's just so small, and yet it just looks bigger than it really is. So anyway, what I want to get to is cabooses, specifically Chessie system cabooses. And the first one you see there is a Backman caboose from like the 80s. And that was like my first probably Chessie system caboose that I ever owned when I got my layout back when I was maybe 16 years old. And that was the best that you could probably get on a budget. And then after that, uh, I was in Burlington Northern for a little while, and then when I came back to trying to get Chessie System rolling stock, uh, here I have a Walters caboose. Now, I never did convert the couplers to KD, but it's a pretty decent model, and it just needs a little weight, probably. And uh, yeah, it's a really decent model of a, of a Chessie System caboose. So this one I would definitely use. Uh, not, the, not so much the Backman one, I'm keeping that maybe for uh, posterity. But there's no way I'm going to use that when I have so many better cabooses. And uh, this next one here is, and you can see how much better this caboose is. This is a Chessie System caboose. Just regular Chessie System. It doesn't have the slogan on it. But this is what most Chessie System cabooses were, if when you think of the wide vision ones from the late 60s and 70s. And... Uh, this is an Atlas model, and it's leaps and bounds better than what was on offer from, from Backman. So, of course, I went to these ones. And then this model came out. And uh, this model here is an Athern model. 
and this is pretty late into the game. This is probably in 2010 this came out, I guess. So this is like one of the newest ones, but I did want to put it right next to the... Actually, I should have probably put this one next to the Walters one as comparison, because it's also a bay window caboose and not uh, a cupola caboose. But anyway, again, th this this one actually is compromise model. It's not exactly what the chassis system had. They had different window configuration than this, but I find this to be fine. It's a good representation. Here's another Chessy System caboose. It has no um, slogan on it, but this one I liked because it had the 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 um, railings on it and the roof walk. My other one didn't have the roof walk, and I just wanted a different model. And it's the same basic Atlas model, except it has the roof walk and makes it a little different. And it's a different road number and everything like that. So I wanted a bit of variety. And I did want a couple of cabooses. This one here is a Chessy System caboose with uh, one of those slogans. And um, I have two with slogans. I was looking through my models. I thought I had more with slogans, but no. I only have these two. This one you haven't seen before. And then the other one is the, uh, the reddish or orange-red Chessy System, which is really cool. And those are all Atlas. And then the last one, which is over here, the little short caboose. And this one, I can make it actually move. So I have a locomotive on this. Did I turn it off yet? Occupational hazard. Here we go. So here we have this, this caboose, which is like a like light, a, lifelike maybe caboose or it might actually be a Cato caboose and it's the very short northeast style caboose with the two little windows and very short a lot of northeast u.s railroads had these they weren't very big in canada uh i prefer actually the the longer caboose type the the bay window type or the cupola type with the wide vision but uh, this one is kind of good because it, it works well with the Chessy system. When I was looking at the, the Chessy system um, a database on, uh, on the internet, and I'll leave a link to that Chessy system pictorial database that I was using, you can see a lot of these uh, little short northeastern type cabooses. Even some of them had the special paint and they had some of them with the slogans and everything. Uh, mine don't. Um, I have two of these. I think one is... Cato and one is lifelike, but uh, they're short and they have no, they have no slogan on it. It's just basically the Chessy system with the yellow. Yep. Yeah, so, um, and the last thing I might want to show here is my Atlas uh, SD35. Now this uh, is a Chessy system model, and I'm going to show it more in depth my lo my Chessy system locomotives, all of them. But uh, this is just a little sample. Uh, this is an Atlas model that I believe came out in the early 90s. And uh, it's one, actually in late 90s, it would have been 95, 96 probably when this came out. So I bought this probably around 2000 uh, at the time when I was in the height of my Chessy system modeling years basically. Uh, because then I started gravitating more towards CN. But... Chessy system has always fascinated me. I I love the colors, like I mentioned in other videos. And I really also like the cabooses because the cabooses have all these really cool slogans and there's so many of them. At some point, maybe I'll get a blue one or something like that just, just for the hell of it. But uh, in the meantime, this is what I have to show. And uh, just a small video here. So um, I'll just pull back and... Uh, end the video here. So thank you very much for watching. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe to Cool Trains in Montreal. Have a good day.